Thursday morning, beautiful people, and we are at Burnham Park. We're not inside Burnham Park yet, but almost. And this is about a five minute walk from the Travel Light Legata Hotel that I'm staying at. And this is what I should have been doing every morning. Such a beautiful place. So we're kind of at, the, I almost pulled my mask down. We're kind of at, the, we're at the sort of the back of the park. The idea is going to be to um, get out of the sun, uh, to walk right the way through um, Burnham Park. And we're heading towards um, Foam Cafe, where we're going to have breakfast and a coffee and sample some of their artisan donuts. <laughs> There's a lot of kids here having fun. All right, now we're, we're coming off this little street here uh, and then into Burnham Park proper, as it were. And in front of us is the lake. This is an interesting view. It's right through the park all the way to uh, City Hall. It's a really nice view. So it's quarter to ten on a Thursday morning and the place is hopping. Lots of people. All having a slow walk through the beautiful green of Burnham Park. I give, I give you more discount. These people are selling <laughs> silver from Baguio. <laughs> ah, you are black, sir. <laughs> There's, there are lots of people here advertising rooms to rent and, and all kinds of things. And I suppose wherever you get lots of human activity, it's a good place to go if you've got something to sell. I reckon my blood pressure's come down about 10 points since I got here. So it's a kind of lookout. It's good, it's a good vantage point. We've got the competition over here. Are you from Baguio? No, we're from Batangas. You're from Batangas? Yeah. Oh, nice. What country do you came from? From Australia. Wow. Yeah. Well, I got a plane, I didn't walk. She's going there. Oh, are you really? Yeah. Okay, she's going Perth. to Australia. Perth, Australia. Perth. Perth. Yeah. Right. I'm from I'm from Melbourne. Melbourne. Yeah. So you're going to Perth. Oh, nice. How long are you in Baguio for? One three days and two nights. Three days and two nights. That's great. All right. We'll have a lovely holiday. Yeah. Bye bye. bye. Good luck. Good luck in Australia.
for the few days I have left here, this is what I'll be doing every morning. Obviously I won't be vlogging it, but this is incredibly relaxing. It's, it's very quiet. Oh, and you have that smell of nature as well. Gorgeous. There's a fork in the road, and I was literally going, I'll go, oh no, I'll, oh no, hang on a minute, I'll go, to, oh no, no, I'll go, so we'll go this way. Should we find out how much it is to hire a boat? I think we should. So the little pontoon pedal boat is good for two people, and it's 200 pesos. And I wonder if that's for an hour, I'll find out. Okay, those prices were per hour. Hi. Well, as we're getting all botanical, uh, I saw this little uh, flower association area and uh, I thought I'd come down here for a quick look. But also to remind you that the flower festival this year has been moved from February to March. So on the 6th of March, it, it opens, there'll be a bit of an opening uh, and it runs for, all, for three weeks, I think. But also on the 6th of March, uh, the Baguio Botanic Gardens open and I've, I've seen the outside, they're closed at the moment, but I've seen them from the outside and they look fantastic. So um, that'd be a good one to pop in your diary. And so we've almost walked from end to end of Burnham Park. Uh, and I'd say these are the main gates up ahead. And they're locked. So we'll have to find another way out. <laughs> okay, so we've departed Burnham Park and we're on Shantam Street. Just trying to find the uh, Foam Coffee Cafe, which is actually in the Travel Light Express Hotel, ground floor. But I'm just, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's in this street, I'm just not exactly sure where. Just a little bit lost. I think we're heading in the right direction. Well, I just asked a policeman who consulted Google, uh, Google Maps, I think, and he said that we go this way <coughs> until we get to Habibi's Grill, and then we ask them. <laughs> Seriously. All right, I've asked five people, and no one knows. So, we'll get a taxi. Hey, do you know um, Travel Light Hotel Express? What? Travel Light Hotel Express. Travel Light. Travel Light. Hotel Express? Yeah. What road? Uh, what I've hotel? forgotten the name of it. Bodabre. Thank you. My uh, internet's not working. <coughs> properly and he doesn't know. Alright, I'm about 100 metres from where I got out of that taxi, believe it or not. Very close. Hi. How are you? Good. Who well, are you? You find a place. Yes, finally. We have a coffee shop here. Right. But the main uh, well, will be in Essen City. Right. In... Right. Terrific. Nice. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. Yeah, yeah. thanks. Okay, just go. Alright, we're here. Go around the front. Around the front, there will be a coffee shop and... Little... Terrific, thank you very much. Okay. Thank you, okay. thanks for that. Right. 
Okay, so this cafe also owned glazed artisan donuts as well. <clears throat> So this is it, we finally made it. I don't know why it's difficult, why people don't know it. It's in such a fantastic location. You can't actually see, but behind these pine trees is City Hall. So it's a fantastic position. Uh, <laughs> All right, so here we are. Hi. Good morning. How are you, sir? I'm good, how are you? Oh, we're all good too. Oh, that's good. <laughs> this is a lo lovely little place. Yes, sir. Wow. All right. So, um, this um, is the menu? Yes, sir. sir. You want to take a seat first, sir? Then we'll assist for you. Yeah. You can take a seat outside or here, sir. All right, I'll just figure out where I'm going to sit. This is the menu. Chicken, rice, pasta, and sandwiches. Let's have a better look. I'll just give you a look. The food and the whole concept has been explained to me as minimalist Korean. And so I've ordered a bibimbap, which is Korean mixed rice with beef and assorted veggies. Okay. And so the menu is a mixture of a little bit of Filipino, a little bit of Chinese, a little bit of Indian, and a little bit of Korean. All right. Oh, and my bibimbap is 250 pesos. The foam signature latte is 150 pesos. So that's about, you know, it's about average. Oh, thank you. This is your bibimbap. Enjoy, sir. Uh, it will be more nicer if you will mix the sauce. You mix the sauce yes, in right. Thank you very Enjoy, much. Sir. Thanks for telling me that. All right, bibimbap. This is it. Oh, this is a very healthy looking meal. And the idea apparently is to stir the sauce through. It's kind of savory, slightly spicy, oh, slightly spicy sauce. Yum. All right, then mix it through. This is Christine, Hi. and um, she's just telling me that it's got minced beef and shiitake mushrooms and spinach. Yes, sir. Correct. And a little bit of seaweed. Kimchi. Kim kimchi. Oh, great. Kimchi. Fresh carrots. And some fresh carrots and some fresh onion, and then rice. Yes, sir. Underneath, and an egg on top, of course. It's quite healthy. And Jason. Hmm. Thank you. Oh, I've got some kimchi. Mm. Korean's one of those things, not my go-to, but this is lovely. It's kind of a hearty and healthy breakfast, especially if you come in here after you've done your 10,000 steps at Burnham Park. This is probably the healthiest meal I've had in about a month. I made a video about a month ago <coughs> with um, Chef Jean Gonzalez and um, the idea was we went to a Korean restaurant in Manila and he talked me through the food and someone in Korea, a vlogger in Korea, saw the video and contacted me and said, do you mind if I kind of do a, a sort of reaction piece to it? But really all he was doing was saying, look at these foreigners and look at the food they're eating 
and he translated everything we said into Korean. <laughs> Progress report. Oh boy, this is really nice. It's, it's quite spicy. So Christine is going to talk us through What's this one, Christine? It's Lecha Plan Donut. And then that one? Cranberry Donut. Peach and Cream Donut. <laughs> Strawberry Cheese. Yep. Dark Chocolate Truffles. Blueberry Bubblegum Donut. Perfect. Thank you very much. And so it's my mission impossible to choose just one. The Chocolate Truffle Donut. But which one would you have chosen? Can you tell me in the comments, please? Thank you. All right, so I chose the chocolate truffle donut. And I have the foam signature latte. So we'll try the latte first. It's quite nice, it's quite sweet. And it's got cream on top. <laughs> All right. So this beautiful artisan donut is the chocolate truffle. It's delicious. It's a, it's a dark chocolate. And there's, there's custard inside, just to keep the calorie count up. And it's really good. The bitterness of the dark chocolate, and then the sweetness of the custard, combine really nicely. And by the way, this isn't a paid advertisement, but they have bribed me with the donut. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was very nice. So the bibimbap, the Korean um, rice dish with mixed vegetables and um, ground beef, and that sp spicy sauce, that was 250 pesos. Uh, and then the donuts are 60 pesos each, which is pretty good, except the Leche Flan donut, which is 80 pesos. The coffee was 150, so that's 400, 460, 460. But, I mean, I won't be hungry until dinner, that's for sure, and this is kind of like brunch, but it's good.